It's a cliche, but it's true. You're only as good as the team around you. And for me, I've got a bigger team than most. If it wasn't for my off-field team, I might not even be here to play AFL footy. Hi, I'm Sam Reid, and I play professional football for the Greater Western Sydney Giants. Nice pick up by Reid. Ooh, and Reid has the ball now. He gets the ball away. Cameron, and it's through. Like the rest of the boys at GWS, my off-field team includes coaches, physios, dietitians, strength coaches, and fitness trainers. Because I'm a type 1 diabetic, my team extends to a group of really clever people known as pathologists, and I'd like to introduce you to today's starting lineup. Handling genetic pathology, we have Dr. Kim Miner. Genetics is one of the most rapidly advancing sections of the healthcare system. Catching disease through tissue diagnosis is Professor Richard Scolier. Looking out for infectious agents like bacteria is microbiologist Dr. Juliet Holland. Covering changes in body chemistry is chemical pathologist Professor Graham Jones. Right across all diseases which affect the blood, haematologist Dr. Daniel Owens. Lucinda Wallman is our immune system pathologist. Dr. Kendall Bailey handles forensics, examining causes of sudden and unexplained deaths. On general pathology today, Dr. Joanna Ding with a broad knowledge of all pathology disciplines and acting as our chief scientist, Dr. Louise Weinholt. Pathologists and scientists work closely to achieve the best outcomes for patients. And they even have a team chair. We are pathologists and fundamentally we work to diagnose, manage and treat diseases. Hey, they're pathologists, not script writers. <laughs> when you visit the doctor, do you know who helps to diagnose your illness and help manage the treatment of your disease? The answer is pathologists. Pathologists play a vital role throughout all our lives from the moment you're born. Pathologists are medical doctors who study the causes of diseases and the ways in which diseases affect our bodies. Today we'll explain a bit more about how Sam's diabetes was discovered and what pathologists do in order to diagnose and treat all diseases. Yeah, and then sort of like three or four weeks later, um, I was losing a fair bit of weight and, and didn't realise what was happening. And I lost about 16 kilos, so I weighed about 85, dropped down to about 69 kilos in, in the space of about two weeks. Um, went into the club and the doctors were like, mate, you're feeling all right? Because obviously I, was, I looked malnourished. So actually I had some blood tests done and yeah, the results came back on the Monday that um, my sugar over the last three months had been at a level of 45, which probably should have been in a coma. Most people would be if I wasn't, if I wasn't as fit as I was um, and a professional athlete, I probably would have been. Um, so I was pretty lucky to get away with that. In Sam's case, it's a chemical pathologist who diagnoses diabetes with a blood test performed in the laboratory. Not surprisingly, it involves a range of professionals. Scientists work as part of a team in laboratories, closely with pathologists and technicians across all the disciplines. But because most of this work happens in a laboratory behind the scenes, when most people go to a doctor, they don't realise that their disease will actually be diagnosed by a pathologist. So if you've ever had a blood test, a biopsy or a swab, You've seen a pathologist. 100% would have carked it if it wasn't for the blood test. Obviously it gets sent off to pathologists somewhere in Australia which, which sort of do that type of thing. And if it wasn't for that, there's no doubt that I wouldn't have, I would have been in a coma and probably yeah, not here today. Just sort of got on this, onto a con continual glucose monitor which goes straight through my phone via Bluetooth. Now with this thing it sends me an alert if it's going low or going high and, and wakes me up. It's pretty, it's pretty bloody loud so it's like an alarm going off which is good. Just as Sam must continue to monitor his condition, pathologists play a vital ongoing role in the treatment and management of millions of patients. From diagnostic testing and monitoring of chronic diseases to cutting edge research and blood transfusion technologies. Pathology is integral to the diagnosis of every cancer and almost all diseases. I'm sure people that get diagnosed with cancer and all different types of stuff um, will never get to meet them and, that, and that's sort of the behind the scenes stuff but I suppose you just want pathologists to know that what they do is, is amazing and without them nothing will get di diagnosed and and treated and, and they're saving people's lives.
That's the story of my entire team. And I think you would agree that they're pretty bloody impressive. And as they like to say, medicine, medicine is, is pathology. pathology. And don't forget, go GWS. <laughs>